Hey guys, it's week 142 here in the Real DVD Watchers, and this week I'm reviewing uh, an animated film, uh, Green Lantern Emerald Knights. Yeah, this is the, uh, you know, as I always tend to do, I uh, usually review the newest DC animated original movie, and this was the newest one. Uh, this one came out in about, oh, say, early June. Kind of to coincide with the release of the live-action Green Lantern with Ryan Reynolds. So basically, this story is... This movie is an anthology. It's got like six mini-stories. And it's basically just uh, Hal Jordan telling this one... Uh, telling this like new Green Lantern recruit all these stories. Like, So it's like... Uh, I think the graphic novel... There's a couple different ones called Tales from the Core which is the same idea, and this is what that is, basically adapting that, only it's Hal Jordan telling the stories this time, instead of, like, Tom Ray or something like that. And, yeah, you get kind of, I wouldn't really say interlocking stories, but, y you know, they'll, they're all great stories. Uh, you've got five that are told to the new, recruit, the new recruit, and then you've got the one main story where everyone's kind of gearing up for this huge battle. Anyway, this time around... Nathan Fillion is voicing Hal Jordan. So, w we can rejoice as Nathan Fillion has finally got to play a fucking superhero. And he does a great job. I mean, H Hal Jordan's not the main character in this movie. He's, he's like, basically narrator, telling the stories and such. But he's he's not the focal point of this movie, uh, which I didn't mind. I just liked hearing Nathan Fillion, and I was happy. And I liked seeing other Green Lanterns basically get their time to shine. Because Hal Jordan's always the one to, uh, Hal Jordan's always the one to get the spotlight, and it was good for them to kind of move away from that in this one a little bit. But yeah, it was in terms, you know, as a Green Lantern film, I thought it was very good. It was better than Green Lantern: First Flight, and a hell of a lot better than the live-action Green Lantern because that movie was, let's just say, it wasn't very good. You know. Uh, all these DC animated movies, they've been doing a really great job, and they, they seem to be getting better and better, and I was impressed with Emerald Knights. Uh, you know, showed off, like, a couple new characters, like Lyra and stuff, who I was really into, and I just hope, I just, maybe hopefully we get another Green Lantern feature down the road somewhere. Um, other than Nathan Fillion, there wasn't really any, anybody else recognized. Oh, there's, uh, Jason Isaacs with Sinestro, he did a really good job. And I just, I'd like to stress this right now, that this film is in no way a sequel to First Flight. They just use, they were a little lazy, and I think it was cheaper. They just decided to use the same animation style. I guess they used, uh, I don't know, I don't really, I'm not really sure how that stuff works, but they just use the same animation style. But it's not a sequel in any way to First Flight. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it was just, it was a solid, it was a solid film solid animated film that I would happily go out and buy, given the right price, and watch again. So, with that said, I think I'm going to give this film a 7 out of 10. Uh, just hope DC keeps up these the great quality in their films. Uh, Batman Year One is next, so I'm really looking forward to that one. And hopefully she turns out good. So, that was it for this week, and I'll just basically talk to you guys... Again, same time next week. Be there or be square. So until then, have a good one.